Hi guys, I know long time no see but summer break and then teacher strike, not really my creative friends. So I'm here today because I've been asked by several of you to talk a bit more about my studio altars and some of my rituals. So bear with me, I will try to show you what I got. And I hope you like it. First, I want to show you my what I, I call my main altar. So this is an IKEA drawer thing. Yes, it's messy. And on top of it, I just gathered what means something to me. So this painting here is titled Oneness and it's part of my the oracle deck that I'm currently making. This beautiful orange creative fire painting was gifted to me by one of my sabbatical sister and it's just amazing and it reminds me that the fire never dies. Then you'll see my abalone shell with my sage and lavender and sage and also palo santo when I really really need to kick some ass. This little statue is just for me the symbol of my own feminine power and feminine divinity and it's small but it's Wait. To me it's really powerful and it reminds me that as long as I'm one with my body everything will be okay. This little one here see it's very heavy and for me it's a symbol of the mother I am. It symbolizes the goddess, I don't know how you pronounce that in English, which is in French, Twiris. And of course I have my smudging feather and some collected feathers that found their way to me when walking. Candles are a big part of my rituals. This is usually what I use. I use the light of the candle to light my sage. And align my intentions. A bit more. I also use magical oils from Athena, aka the Set Goddess, and here is my creativity tray. Citrine, quartz, orange calcite, and way more. And it was a white tray, and I gessoed it and then used some of the Lindy Stem Gang sprays I had in gold and greens because for me it's for prosperity too. So this was my main altar. There. And then on my studio table I also now decided to have some gems as well to adjust this baby wait I put it back is a smoky celestial quartz and when I found it in the in the shop one I love called Banyan in Vancouver it actually warmed my end so much it got me in tears in the shop 
Yep. That's my life. I tend to change the candle I put in that table altar depending on what I feel I need. And this one is from uh, Zena Moon, which I really, really love. And they're magical candle to me too. And this one is Get Off Your Butt, because I need to <laughs> get off my butt. So you have brown zebra jasper, brocheted jasper, quartz, and Botswana hagat. And this one is very special, it's a stitch tight and I won it during a giveaway from Athena and I don't know if you can see it there, some there, maybe you can see it. This is my car and purple is my favorite color. This is really really special to me and see just holding it I can feel the vibration which is and because I'm always changing and I don't like being bored, I also have a little jar here. Wait. Filled with various crystals because now I'm charging each of my paintings and depending on the intention and the Reiki I use I will pick the gemstones I feel cold to so yep and another one breaks through so I hope you enjoyed and please 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 if you have any question Comment on the blog or below. See you soon. Bye.